Here we go, we're going to try and show you how to make an aero halyard, one that slips through the top of the mast nicely. What we've managed to do is make a, a tiny loop in this piece of easy splice, but we made it thick enough that it will jam in the top of the halyard. Um, I'm just going to open my toolkit and show you how to do it. So we take a metre of easy splice, tie a little knot in one end because we're going to have some issues. We're going to try and pull about 60 centimetres of the inner core out of the easy splice. Sometimes it's easy to pull the inner core out by pushing the outer core back. There we go, pull it straight out as hard as you can. Get about 60 centimetres out of the inner core of this one metre of easy splice. Chop it off. I'm not normally this tidy, but here we go. <clears throat> Try and find the edge of 40 centimetres worth of rope that's got the middle core in and, and then make a loop basically back to fill that gap. I'm going to put a join, make a loop in that long loop to start my Brummel hitch about 40 millimetres from one end. I'm using a 3 mil push fit here and the first half of the loop is really easy because you've only got the small end to put through the long end but now we've got to take the long end through the small end we've got to untie our little knot so now we're putting the long end back through the small end to complete our little Brommel hitch which is our clever little knot that stops the loops from coming undone This end's a little trickier because I've still got the, the cut rope sort of effect at one end, but it's gone through okay. And there's my nice little Brummel hitch. I'm now going to try and lose the long tail back inside the rope. And for that I'm going to use my Rooster Easy Splice pull fit. There's the bit where the centre core has ended. I'm going to pass my Easy splice fit up the centre. Try and go as close to the little knot, the little brummel hitch you've made as possible for a neat job. This is always the tricky bit, trying to get it started through the middle. So I tend to lick my fingers to make my hands a little grippier. It takes a little bit of pulling and wiggling and finally the inner core starts to go down the rope. And here it is, it's on its way. Once it starts, it's very, very easy. There's the little end out, pull the excess through and make sure it's nice and tight before you milk the outside back over it again. And this is going to give the extra thickness you're looking for to jam in the cleat on the aero mast. Chop a little bit of excess off so you've got a neat little halyard. Milk it back again and it's all done. Now you might have to do some adjustments of exactly where this boggle has to be tied onto this rope to ensure that you're getting that nice thick piece of double spliced bit of easy splice in the cleat. But once you've got that tiny bit of adjustment just to make it right, tie yourself a figure of eight knot with a bit of a push the end back in again for a second time to make a really big secure knot. And then you can 
fold that into your little boggle and make it nice and secure and there's your aero halyard it won't get snagged put a tool kit away and the job's a good one look forward to the next time